It is a spectacular night in the Valley of the Sun as we welcome you to Glendale, Arizona, as the BCS Bowl Bash continues on Fox in this sensational first-year venue. Boise State tonight steps onto the national stage, playing the role of David, trying to take down Goliath. Oklahoma, after all, is the winningest college football program in the nation since World War II, and they are the heavy favorite in this Tostitos Fiesta Bowl game. The Broncos' journey to this night started with the leap to Division 1A in 1996. Here come the WAC champion, Boise State University Broncos. championships 40 conference titles wearing the crimson and cream out of the Big 12 conference the Oklahoma Sooners time in nearly three months all American running back Adrian Peterson will take the field after breaking his collarbone is tonight his final game at Oklahoma the coin with the Tostitos is heads the backside with the team logo is tails I need your options now tails is the call Natalie It's come up tails. Boise State, you've won the toss. Boise State's won the toss, deferred to the second half. We are ready for college football. The BCS bash begins shortly here on Fox. Boise State University to take on the Oklahoma Sooners. The kickoff is next. You're watching college football on Fox. Start to finish. Number three, Reggie Smith. Number nine, Joaquin Iglesias. Way back, line drive kick. This will be the sophomore Iglesias. Across the 15, out to the 20. And is tackled out near the 27-yard line. A 25-yard return for the sophomore wide receiver. Up front for Oklahoma. Very, very young. They start three sophomores, a true freshman, Trent Williams. They think he has a chance to be one of the all-time greats at Oklahoma. Adrian Peterson back for the first time since breaking his collarbone against Iowa State. Brody Eldridge is a tight end, but he'll work out of the backfield. And their quarterback, an amazing story. Paul Thompson, the backup quarterback his first two years. And here is Peterson. And he is tripped up behind the line of scrimmage and lunges ahead for a gain of two. The defense for the WAC champion, Boise State Broncos, Andrew Browning, a walk-on, led him with eight sacks. Corey Hall and Colt Brooks, both born and raised in Idaho, joined in the linebacking court by David Shields in the secondary. Very good corners. The freshman Wilson, along with Orlando Skendrick, and lots of experience in the safety spot with Gerald Alexander and Marty Tadman. A reverse. And this is Peterson, and he's out to the 39. Peterson, that sensational freshman year when he ran for nearly 2,000 yards, finished second in the Heisman balloting. Not much room this time, as he is met by the free safety, Gerald Alexander. Already three carries for Adrian Peterson. A second down and eight. Quick throw by Thompson, and it's behind the intended target, Manuel Johnson. That is an incomplete pass. Blake clock down to five. They just do get it off. Good protection for Thompson. And it was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Give them a lot of confidence after that first series. Michael Cohen to punt. Marty Tadman back at his own 15, races up to make the catch, and he is leveled by... That Oklahoma defensive front jam-packed at the line of scrimmage. Jared Zabransky 
a very good runner. And he Boise State is looking for an advantage when they make these shifts. First carry for Ian Johnson. And he's out to the 37 yard line. Going to bring up third down and two up front for Boise State. They believe Ryan Clady could be starting at left tackle for just about any school in college football. He is a monster out at left tackle. Ian Johnson ran for better than 1,600 yards. He is a dynamic back, and they have three outstanding wide receivers in Jared Rabb, Legadu Nunne, and Dryzen James, who's from right here in Phoenix. And we talked about Zabransky, a great sophomore year, a down junior year, and has had a dynamite senior year. Well, they run right out of my third and short. They do. And they have the first down out to the 40 yard line. Give them a lot of confidence picking up that first down. Dabransky, good protection. And he's looking down the sideline and overthrows his intended target, Legadu Nunne. Take a look at Oklahoma defensively really struggled the first three games and then turned things around in a hurry after the controversial loss to Oregon. Thibodeau and Verdine, a pair of seniors at defensive end. Rufus Alexander, the Big 12 Conference Defensive Player of the Year. And the primary changes came in the secondary after that loss to Oregon where they gave up over 500 yards. Some big hitters in that secondary led by the sophomore Reggie Smith. Bransky looking around and dumps it off to Ian Johnson and he's third down at five and here come the Sooners they pick up the blitz in out back into the hands of the tight end Derek Schumann and following the review the play stands is called first down Boise State drive started at Boise State's 29 yard line it's first and 10 from the Oklahoma 49. Play action. And Zabransky looking for it all. Wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Dryzen James. And the first stone fired by David hits Goliath right in the chest. This is part of the launchers that we talked about. Remember the keys, three, two, one, launch. Get your big plays early if your Boise State came out with a play action pass. Dryzen James with a double move, beats the Oklahoma defense for the initial score of the night. Anthony Montgomery, the senior place kicker, on for the point after. And how about that? We asked the question. Can the little dog run with the big dog? Well, right now, the little dog has a 7 nothing lead. And the left-footed kicker, Montgomery, puts foot on leather, and this will be Iglesias from the 9. And nowhere to go. Nowhere from its own 11 yard line. Thompson play action under heavy pressure. The ball is loose. And it looks like Boise State has it. The Broncos have recovered. They go after it right now. Momentum's all on their side. Take a shot at the end zone first play. And look at the top of your screen. Wide receiver in isolation. They're going to hand it to Ian Johnson. And he's inside the five. Three tight ends in the game. They hand it to Johnson into the end zone. Wow. I'm not sure those are the words of Bob Stoops. Now uh, that I tell you what now they responded to that. I thought we'd see an Oklahoma defense come out there and, and bow up. I didn't see it. That was pretty easy. But I ran right over you on two plays and went to the end zone. Mentally, that's huge for Boise State. Two touchdowns for the Broncos, spanning one minute and 38 seconds. Goodness gracious. 
This is Boise State University Bronco football. They lead 14 nothing. Can't wait for that one. One week from tonight, right here on Fox, number one Ohio State taking on number two Florida. 14 nothing. Boise State in front. That one bouncing into the hands of Smith, and again, great. And he is a fifth, 90 years young. Here's Adrian Peterson, and he is chopped down. Exceptions to lead the Sooners. Thompson dumps it off to Peterson. He breaks a tackle, and then brings it out close to a first down. A rhythm early in the game with Thompson. Play action to Peterson. And Thompson looking for a receiver. He'll carry the football. Good enough for a first down all the way out to the 43-yard line. He talked to his mom and dad and said, I'm your man. Alan Patrick as the play is blown dead. Patrick coming into the game for the first time, replacing Peterson. Ball start, 72 offense, five-yard penalty, still first down. Glassman checked out of the pass and ran the ball for positive yardage. That'll help him get comfortable. This is Alan Patrick, and he is hammered. Second and 14. They fake it to Peterson. And throw, and the catch is made by Iglesias at the... Third down and a yard. And they pitch it to Peterson. Very, very close. And against the run, they had the eighth best defense in college football. Inside handoff to Patrick. And he is leveled. Play the game. He's the leader of this squad. Second down and six. Play fake to Patrick. Thompson looks down the middle of the field, and it's underthrown to Kelly. And who came down with the ball? Incomplete. Making a call according to the defense. Play clock at one. They just got it off. Thompson caught by Iglesias. First down, Oklahoma to the 22. It's really giving the call down to the sideline once they've seen the defense. Three tight ends. They hand it to Peterson. Steps over a couple of tackles, and he's down to the 15. Interception. 11th play of the drive, Alan Patrick down to the 10. Finish the runs impressively, and they're very physical in how they run the ball. This is Alan Patrick. And he picks up three down to the eight-yard line. Actually got more carries during that time frame. Second down and seven. Thompson to throw to the end zone. Flat comes down. Pass interference, defense, number 22. By rule. The ball's placed at the two-yard line. Automatic. First down. <laughs> Adrian Peterson in the eye formation, trying to get to the end zone for the first time since breaking his collarbone. And Gerald Alexander says, not this time. Play more than likely of this opening quarter. Thompson to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Manuel Johnson, his third receiving touchdown of the year, and the Sooners on the board. I believe they came right back to Kyle Wilson, guys. After the pass interference, they gave him one play off and said, okay, let's see where his confidence is right now. We'll run another receiver at him. Give it a go. Turned out to be a nice call by the Oklahoma sideline. Garrett Hartley on for the point after. And it is good. So the Sooners, after falling behind 14-0, take 13 plays to go 82 yards, capped off by the touchdown pass to Manuel Johnson, 14-7, Boise State. Boise State to get the football for the third time in the game. Their first two possessions. Culminating in touchdowns. This is Rashawn Scott from his own end zone. Great coverage. They're at the quarter pole. And it's 14-7 Boise State. We're back after a word from your local Fox station. Money in motion.
action and they set up the screen. Dumped off to Johnson and read beautifully by the Oklahoma defense. That Brent Venables, the associate head coach and defensive coordinator for the Sooners. Here comes a blitz. They pick it up. Zabransky fires to Nunne to the 35. And he's out to the 36. They'll move the chain. Sooners with nine sacks in the last three games and a big hole for Ian Johnson. And the sophomore out of San Dimas, California. Ball at the Oklahoma 48. And they hand it to Johnson and not much room in this time. Tight end Derek Schumann split wide to the right. And Zabransky will dump it off to Vinny Peretta. And he slips out of the tackle of Lundy Holmes. And then not worried. No. Third down and seven. It's like Oklahoma wants to come after him. Zabransky fires high and through the hands. No. Kyle Stringer on the punt. Angling toward the sideline, and that's where Reggie Smith will signal for the fair catch. And they're starting from their own 15. The play fake to Peterson. Thompson rolls right as an open receiver. Throw on the money, and the catch is made by Manuel Johnson. And Thompson to throw. Good enough for a first down. Out to the 34-yard line for the fifth most touchdowns in a season in OU football history. Of course, for many years, all they did was run the wishbone. Peterson carries across the 40 to the 41-yard line. That's a lot. The offensive line creating some holes. Play action again into the far side. The catch is made by rarely used what part of their defensive game plan. Thompson to throw down the middle of the field and overthrows. The flag comes in. That was it. Pass interference. Defense number eight. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. And off to Alan Patrick. And followed up in the line of scrimmage. Thompson earlier in the game. Quick snap on a second and 10. Thompson. Looking to the end zone. Ball's underthrown, and it's intercepted by Tedman. Well, after the turnover by Oklahoma, Boise State starts this drive from its own 20. Ian Johnson looking for room to run, and nothing there. A gain of... Zabransky looking for his tight end Schumann. Covered beautifully by Lundy Holmes. And it's out to the 23 yard line. So they're down in seven for the Broncos. They need to get to the 30. Blitz coming. Zabransky dancing around. Fires. And was a catch made by James? No. And James can argue. Regular zone looks. They've been able to throw underneath, but Oklahoma's run those plays down. The punt by Kyle Stringer. And this is Reggie Smith from the 27. Smith cuts it back to the inside and close to midfield. He's tackled in the 49-yard line. Alan Patrick and Adrian Peterson in the game now. And they give it to Patrick, who's inside the 40. Down the sideline, back to the inside. All the way to the 22 is Alan Patrick. 30-yard run by Patrick, who goes to the sideline in favor of Adrian Peterson. And really pretty quiet thus far for Peterson. Second down and seven, Peterson. Down to the 15-yard line. Him on the edge and throw it, or you tell them you, tell them you have two runs at three yards. Four down territory, two runs. Well, they pitch it to Patrick, and they're going to have to make a decision. The five by Garrett Hartley. Out of the hold of Hayes McEachin. And the kick is good. So rather than go on fourth down, with 5.38 to play until halftime. Quentin Jones a couple of yards into his own end zone. And he is buried. The, their budget has changed dramatically. 
after they split up all the money with their conference and the other non-BCS conference schools. That one nearly intercepted. Oh, they get the ball back before halftime. Get, that's right. Field position and the ball. Flags come down. There was early movement. Offside. Defense. Number 99. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. From tonight. The BCS Tostitos National Championship game here on Fox. Zabransky just throws it away. Blitz coming. Zabransky. Down it goes. I think he's got to learn to move and go. Take off and sting him downfield. If he longer he stays in the pocket, the more guys get after him. Springer punts from the goal line and a booming kick. That's what Brent Venables did, and it worked quite well for the OU Sooners. Quentin Cheney in at wide receiver again. Thompson flushed out of the pocket, and a flag comes down behind the line of scrimmage. Thompson chased out of bounds at the 40, but this one more than likely coming back. Let's send it downstairs to Chris Myers. Okay. Do you want to come back and finish it with King who's out on defense? Thompson throws it back the other way to Joe John Finley. Second down and 20 blitz coming. Oklahoma picks it up. Throw and catch by Johnson. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down and 10 from their own 35. Thompson looking for room. Throws and complete. So Boise State will get the football back. They come out winging it. Decline it. Following the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, baiting, charge the Boise State oh. number eight. Personal foul. Late hit, number nine, Oklahoma. Those penalties will offset fourth down. A 28 blocked kicks. Very short punt off the foot of Michael Cohen. And the official will spot the ball at the 35 yard line. So two of five, converting on third down. Ian Johnson takes a handoff and looking for room. And there's not any there. All of a sudden. And now this time they hurry up to the line of scrimmage. And Zabransky with a wide open receiver at the 47 yard line. That's Jerome Ram. Four seconds on the on the play clock. One of the new rules in college football, once they reset the chains, that clock starts back up. It's been a, a controversial decision. Timeout, Boise State. First team timeout. First down at the center, 47-yard line. Good protection for Zabransky. And had an open today down at the... Ball start. Ball start, 66, offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. That's impressive. First down, Blitz coming. Zabransky steps up, chase from behind, and he can fly. Out across the 40, and down to the 36-yard line. Ball down at the 36-yard line after the 16-yard carry by Zabransky. We're under a minute until halftime, and the Broncos have two timeouts left. Far side, catch made by Rapp, trying to get out of bounds, and does. Down to the 26, as long this season is 40 yards. Zabransky steps away from trouble, throws to the far side, and James cuts it back to the inside. Now to the corner of the end zone. James from Phoenix, Arizona's Westview High School, his second touchdown tonight. Tremendous awareness by Zabransky. That was a throwback. That ball, he sprinted to his right. The ball was to be thrown across the field to his left to the tight end. What tremendous awareness to find an open receiver. 
and when James caught the football were you thinking get to the sideline get out of bounds when he turned inside I thought he might have made a mistake initially have programs that have to recruit players they talk about walk ons great attitude and you develop them. So with 33 seconds left in the opening half a huge touchdown for the Broncos. This is Iglesias and he's out to the 29 yard line and Boise State watch how they leave the field at the end of this half. Well, they're going to hand it off and that will be the final play of the opening half. Watch Boise State take off out of here. The Boise State University Broncos have come to the desert and at halftime an overwhelming underdog coming into this one against Oklahoma. A 21 10 lead. Stay tuned. A special Tostitos halftime program to see a Fred Banks dream of home ownership comes true. And this is Rashawn Scott get into the end zone. To open up this 11 point spread. Ian Johnson, nowhere to go, a loss of two. Some of the numbers from the opening half Sooners outran him, and the Broncos outpassed him. Two big turnovers in that first half, one directly leading to a Boise State touchdown. Caught a loss of three on first down on the carry by Johnson. So now Debransky back to throw. And again steps up. Fires catch made on the far side. And that's a tight end Derek Schumann. He's, up. He's nothing like that quarterback was that day. Third down and four. Receiver was covered on that quick slant. And now Zabransky just has to run out of bounds. Barry Alvarez <laughs> did at halftime of the Rose Bowl about a decade ago. Another booming punt by Kyle Stringer. And Smith evades one tackle and brings it out to the 32 yard line. A blitz, blitzing because the blitz was not effective. Not very effective in the opening half was Adrian Peterson. And here he comes in motion now. Read beautifully by Orlando Scandrick along with Mike T. Williams. They just do get it off. Thompson. Being chased by Browning. Just throws it up in the air to Cheney, and it's intercepted by Gerald Alexander. He's across the 35 to the 40. And nearly to midfield, the third Oklahoma turnover. State with a football and a 21 10 lead. Ian Johnson crosses midfield to the center 49. Delay handoff to Johnson. Going to play. Personal foul, late hit. 91 on the offense. 15 yard penalty. Third down. Derek should convert. Haven't seen him run a screen yet or a draw. Well, there's your draw to Johnson, and he's out across the 40. Stringer, a high snap. And Smith, a fair catch. Flag comes in. Illegal block in the back, number 11. Oh. That's a post scrimmage kick enforcement. We'll go 10 yards from the spot of the catch. First down. As the Sooners begin this drive at their own 12, Alan Patrick has come into the game. And he gets a yard, maybe two. Peterson breaks it to the outside. And he's out near the 20, a late flat. Incidental face mask. Number eight on the defense. That five yard penalty results first down. Hopping something late in the ball game. I might think about that strategy with Adrian Peterson. Peterson is in there and Thompson to throw on first down. Intercepted and into the end zone goes Marty Tapman.
his second interception tonight. Created, looked like, the outcome looked, wasn't there. Looked like three deep coverage with a strong safety underneath. And Marty Tadman, he got to the flat. And the ball, he appeared to be the receiver. <laughs> I mean, he was the guy in the area. Makes a perfect break and carries it home. We better get, oh, the ball looks like the ball may have been tipped. Looked like the ball may have been tipped there. Twenty-eight to ten, Boise State in front. Joaquin Iglesias breaks a couple of tackles, still on his feet. Flags littered all over the field. Nice on the return, illegal block in the back. Twenty-two, half the distance of the goal. First down. Adrian Peterson met at the line of scrimmage by Dennis Ellis. 142 yards and two touchdowns. They're without him tonight. And a slant over the middle, the catch made by Iglesia the football. They've got to get into a rhythm doing that also. Well, they're going to throw it. Thompson steps up. Perfect throw there to Iglesias, who's become his favorite target now. He'll have another option at quarterback behind him. First down, and they're going to put it up again. And overthrowing Cheney. Manuel Johnson and a great open field tackle by Big Play. Here they come. Slant. Misread somewhere. Great. You've got to answer. Michael Cohen. As Tadman will let it drop. That ball checks up and then hits. Did it hit a Boise State player? If it did. It'll be Oklahoma football, and it is Oklahoma football. The ball came back and hit a Boise State player in the leg. Need seven. Has to be. Field goal is not an option for OU here. Alan Patrick with a carry. He gets down to the eight-yard line. Second and seven. Peterson to the end zone, his first score since breaking his collarbone against Iowa State. Back on October the 14th, and the Sooners are right back in it. I like to see him. If I'm Bob Stoops, I like what I see on the edge. You want to see him on the edge. To make it an 11-point spread, which he does. Well, the first real big mistake of the night by Boise State, the punt. Getting key in the leg. Oklahoma recovers. Two plays later, Peterson to the end zone. I saw the first four episodes of next year last week. Better settle in. We were settling for a good ride, huh? Buckle up. Buckle up, <laughs> folks. Get that seat belt and strapped on. Went to Jones out of his own end zone. Brings it out to the 17 yard line. Let's go. Chris, thank you very much. Zabransky to throw on first down. And he finds Gerard Rapp. It's a true story. That's not something out of Hollywood. Zabransky stepping away from trouble. And he just flips it. It's going to be and a illegal touch. will be an illegal touch. Uh, Zabransky has been around a long time. And illegal reminding. touching. Number 69 of the offense. That penalty's been declined. Result of the play, third down. Vito's Fiesta Bowl on his home turf. They decline the penalty. Does Oklahoma to make it third and seven. Zabransky steps up, throws in and out of the hands of Rab. That would have been good enough for a first down, and he dropped it. Smith stands at his own 40. Springer puts a foot on it. This is Smith. Didn't call for a fair catch. Thompson lays it off for Peterson. Great pursuit. Great, Great job. Looks, along with a Boise State leading Oklahoma 28 to 17. There's Peterson to get in motion. Thompson to throw the football. Wide open. And making the catch, Iglesias. Inside the 30, down to the 28-yard line. The Iglesias five catches for 104 yards. In the absence of Kelly, 
Thompson rolls right. And he'll tuck it under his arm. And very close to a first down inside the 20. And second down and a yard into the open field is Alan Patrick. On 10 carries with 58 yards. Pretty productive, isn't it? He'll get it on the play fake. And he's close to the five. Oklahoma trailed this game 28 to 10. And now trying to get it into single digits. Jump ball and nearly a miraculous catch by Quinton Chaney. Thompson in trouble. Down he goes. Boy, you gotta wonder about the play calling by Oklahoma. It into the third, Boise State 28, Oklahoma 17. The Tostitos Bull Bash on Fox continues after these messages from your local Fox station. Back of your mind, you wonder if Bob Stoops thinks about faking one with his reputation. We'll take the points. Right down the can off the foot of Hartley. Eight-point spread with nearly the entire quarter to go. Sean Scott. From the goal line, and a good return out to the 28. We opened tonight asking, could again David take down the line? Ian Johnson into the secondary out to the second down handoff to Johnson, and he breaks it to the outside, and that's good enough for a first down. That is fourth quarter just underway. First down for Boise State. They pitch it to the far side to Johnson, looking for some daylight, and is able to push forward and pick up a gain of three, maybe four. They hustle to the line of scrimmage, and the throw is too high for Benny Perrino. And it's a lateral. I'm Loss of four, third and 13. Zabransky steps up, and he can run. But he is hammered to the turf by Rufus Alexander. <laughs> not, and not many people allow him to miss, that's for sure. Springer puts a foot on it. And Smith calls for a fair catch all the way back to the board. Field a lot in the second half. Can Oklahoma continue to try and wear them down and have those three yard runs become bigger? Oh my, Dennis Ellis. Thompson out of his own end zone and broken up in the secondary by Alexander. Quarters, they're pretty fresh to me. Thompson carries and is tripped up by David Shields and Oklahoma will punt out of its own end zone. They'll get good field position. Looks like they're going after it. Good punt here by Michael Cohen. This is Tadman from his own 40. Crosses midfield, and he was shellacked by Lewis Bacon. They haven't gotten much done offensively this half. Why not go after it? We're going to hand it to Ian Johnson, and he breaks through. Number nine, the top of your screen. They have some plays called for him tonight, though. They're going to hand it to Ian Johnson, and he has. 14 touchdowns scored this year. Going to get it again. He plows ahead inside the 35-yard line. You're going to keep seeing him, get, seeing him get the ball until he stopped. Hard to bring him down. And is that ball loose? On the far side. Yes, it is. Oklahoma has recovered. Here at Glendale. And the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. And the Sooners trail 28-20. Peterson spins out of one tackle and put under eight to go. Oklahoma has all three timeouts remaining. Play action. Peterson, pump fake, rolls, and picks up a first down out to the 40. Finley in motion. Peterson to carry. Nowhere to go. Seven minutes. A second and 11 for the Sooners. Quick throw to Johnson. And he has tackled good open field tackle out of. Long ball and too long. He 
is going to punt it. Beautiful hang time here. Tadman will let it go and into the end zone. And the son of a potato farmer, Jared Zabransky, who grew up just across the border in Oregon, is trying to lead Boise State to what would be a monumental upset of Oklahoma. But first things first, and a stunning upset in this Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Can the OU defense stop Zabransky and company? Second down and 10, he will throw it. And backing in to the sideline is the wide receiver, Rab. Well, now they snap the ball with 10 on the clock. Zabransky going to roll. How about the call on the first down conversion? We're at the five-minute mark, and they'll keep it on the ground to Ian Johnson, and he breaks into the open field. And Johnson out to the 47. Oklahoma with two timeouts remaining. They'll stay on the ground with Johnson. And he picks up a yard jump. Second down and nine. Oklahoma with one timeout remaining. Got to protect the ball here. Boise State cannot turn over the football in this situation. That's Oklahoma's best hope. Can you believe this? Oklahoma is calling a timeout. Brent Venables almost looking with a question expression. Third and final. That is their final timeout. Can you believe that? The Cinderella thing's starting to go, <laughs> go the way of the books, isn't it? Safe handoff, fake handoff, and Zabransky just going to burn some time. Oh, maybe you take a shot with one of those big receivers outside and really try and make it work here. Zabransky to throw. Now he'll step up, and he is locked at the 44-yard line. He's 20 under Bob Stoops since he took over. They're not going to get to this one. They snapped it with two on the, on the play clock. Smith, the fair catch. Catch, Manuel Johnson. Out to midfield and crosses midfield to the 47-yard line. There's Smith, number 37. Will they come after him? The answer is yes. Ball at the 39. Thompson across the middle. Iglesias inside the 30. Chip goes out of bounds to the 22. Two minutes remaining. Haven't found him at all tonight. Thompson breaks a tackle from Browning. Okay. Boise State just substituted in a defensive lineman trying to get some fresh legs. Ian Smart. Thompson on the slant. And a flag comes in. Pass interference, defense, number 23. Spot foul, automatic, first down. Watch, he's going to be he's gonna be hugged up by the receiver. Here's Jones getting there a little early, trying to get to play through the man to get to the ball. A minute 30 to go. Oklahoma needing a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie. See how they're playing off? They won't retreat from that goal line. To the end zone, tipped, caught by Cheney. Wow. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Now they have to go and get two. Thompson, jump ball to the corner, and a flag comes down on Scandrick, who's back in the game. He got tied up with Cheney. In the field, but still Best interference, defense number eight. We're still on the try. Three tight ends set. Adrian Peterson in the eye. Gresham on the jump ball to the end zone. He did he get it? There's a flag down. Still no signal given by the official. There is a flag on the play. It's got the big. Illegal shift. Offense. Two men moving without reset. Five yard penalty. Still on the try. Say they've got to get Thompson out of the pocket where he's on the move. Pump fake. Thompson to the end zone. Catch is made and we're tied at 28 by Joaquin Iglesias. What an unbelievable drive led by the senior Paul Thompson. 126 to play. Boise has two timeouts. And that ball three yards deep into the end zone and this is Clinton Jones to bring it out. Out across the 20 to the 25. Do it three times and convert it. Clock is running. They've set the ball and Zabransky a dangerous throw and it's intercepted in 
into the end zone, Marcus Walker. Unbelievable. receiver made the, the proper cut or not or ran the proper route he's throwing from a far hash mark an out cut on the other on the, on the other boundary that's a lot of exposure Jones two yards deep will bring it out again he's out to the 22 yard line we have block running at 50 seconds Sobranski steps up looking down the field, fires, and it's caught by the tight end Schumann trying to get out of bounds. He's to the 43. Clock stops, so it's a first down. So hustle up and get on the line of scrimmage. They can spike the ball if they so choose here. It's a gain of 36. They do have two timeouts left. Sobranski has them ready. Showing a lot of poise in this situation, too, aren't they? Zabranski, down he goes into the arms of Larry Verdine, and they're going to have three rushes. Second down at 18. Zabranski fires, and it is caught down at the 29. No, oh, it came loose. Schumann racing on the this field time. before the snap of the football. Zabranski fires into traffic. And running a flag is Ram. A last gasp for the Broncos. Bransky's legs might be critical here to save time on throwing the ball. Down the middle, James. The lateral! To the corner of the end zone! Can you believe that? I've seen it all. Now. The Anthony Montgomery. And it is good. Well, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. And how about Jared Zabransky and his redemption after the interception, the hook and lateral, and it goes in. This is beautiful. Shades of Utah, Fiesta Bowl yep. 2004. Boy, is that, look at the execution. It's perfect. And look at Lewis Baker ran right by him because he wasn't expecting that at all. And Rab beats him to the corner. This team is never in one bit. Nope. All right, line drive kick. This will be the final play of regulation. And boys and girls, we are on our way to overtime in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. You can even see the respect the players have for one another as the captains come out for this coin toss. Boise, you'll call a toss. The winner of the toss has the option to go on offense, defense, or one end of the field. We'll play that inning at the same end. Your choice? Tails. Tails, that's the blue side. It's come up, Tails. Boise, you've won the toss. You'll play defense first. Do this. All righty, Oklahoma will get it in the overtime. Here we go. Adrian Peterson in the backfield. Overtime is underway, and Peterson with the football. Off to the left side. Down the sideline. Leaps, did he get in or step out of bounds? Touchdown, Adrian Peterson. That did not take long. That's occupied enough of the DB to get into the end zone. Big point after. And it is good. Off the foot of Garrett Hartley. So one play, a 25-yard touchdown run. Benny Perretta thought about throwing the football. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. A 
Rolls Lebranski out, comes back the other way to the tight end, Schumann. Got a couple of good blocks. Short drop, Zabranski to Schumann, and he bangs his way inside the 15, good enough for a first down. And first down, Boise State trailing by seven in the first overtime. And off to Peretta. He should be down back there unless his knee did not hit. I saw the red. Second down and eight for the Broncos at the Oklahoma 11. They're going to hand it off to Ian Johnson. Still on his feet, close to a first down inside the five. Johnson denied the first down. Is the ball loose or was his knee down? I think they're saying he was down. Vinny Perretta is a converted wide receiver in the backfield. And he's behind center, and the quarterback, Zabranski, is in motion. They do this a lot. Peretta to take the snap. He's going to throw it to the end zone. Touchdown! They're going to go for two, guys. I'm telling you, they are tired. To, listen, when you're Cinderella, at a certain point, you don't keep slugging with the big guy. They're going to try and win the football game right now. Still think him with some type of run pass option going to the right. Boise State for the win. They hand it off to Johnson. Boise State has won the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Can you believe it? Statue of Liberty play. Earlier in the season, they ran that look and they threw a quick screen out of that formation. And this was the counter to it. They knew it was on tape. Oklahoma seen it. They threw it out there to Nene. And this time, they fake it and hand it off the old Statue of Liberty. And no one better than Ian Johnson with the year he's had. Now, that football was supposed to go in the trophy case, but someone else has got it now. Okay, Charles, let's go back to coaching here. They, he knows that Oklahoma has studied every film they have. That's it. They know every two-point conversion. They're going to defend. Bobby Stoops' team's coached well enough. They're going to defend what they saw. They come back with the counter. He knew it was on tape, and they threw the counter at them. But the number one thing, and we talked about it in the break, and I said it to you, Tom, they would go for two there, wouldn't they? Downstairs okay. to Chris Myers. We'll get to that. All right, I'm with uh, Ian Johnson of the corner with some Boise fans. Congratulations. Talk about the game and the finish. I mean, it was just one of those things where we wanted to be out here. We played real hard to get here. And then once we got here, we wanted to come out here, show them that they were in a game with us, and show them that we deserved a little bit of respect. We came out there. We had a little bit of fumbles. But we wanted to show them how we play ball, and we showed them. And then, I mean, it came down to who had the more heart, and we had it. And you, you didn't waver at, even after the interception run back when Jabranski and you were down. I mean, if you look on the sideline, our guys start smiling afterwards. Now, do you deserve a shot at Ohio State having a perfect record? I mean, we're not going to say that because, hey, we got our bowl game. We were happy with our bowl game. And it worked. I mean, we won our game. We're 13-0. We deserve a little bit more respect. We're just out here to win a game, get a little bit of respect. Do you think Oklahoma took you, you lightly? We know they did. We, really? the, way, the way they were talking about us the whole entire game, the way they were talking to us when they were down, I mean, the whole entire week, we felt like they were, we were their little brothers. How about that final play, the gutsiness to go for two? I mean, we just felt amazing that our coach had enough confidence in us to go for two, to win this game, because we were playing to win, not to lose. All right, and I know you're going to propose to your girlfriend. Congratulations. Hey. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Tommy, he's going to really do this. Hey. Yeah. Tommy, uh, she said yes. Ian Johnson proposing to the head cheerleader at Boise State. Does it get any better than this in college football? I don't have anything else left to say. Undefeated season and a proposal on the field after you win at no team.
First and wins and apparently first and long. <laughs>